Hey everyone. Welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. We will call it Liquid Logo Animation. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per seconds. Let's create a new solid, and rename it, Liquid Lines. I am making it same, as the comp size. And using a black color for it. You are free to choose any color you want. Now go to the tools and select pen tool. Make sure your liquid line layer is selected, and then, start drawing a path using the pen tool. Please note, your lines will follow this path, so make sure you are making it as you want to animate your lines. In my case, I am using this shape. You can adjust the curves of your paths, by dragging the handles of each anchor point and make these curves round as possible. Now, if you select your layer, and press M, you can actually see your mask path option here. We are going to use this mask path to animate our line. Go to the effects and presets, and search for CC particle system second. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects, you don't need to download it from anywhere. Double click on this to apply it on the layer. This effect creates nice looking particles, as the same, as other third party plugins create. Let's adjust a few settings to make it look like a line. First of all, change birth rate to 50, and then change longevity to 0.6. Open this physics tab, and change the velocity to 0. Also, change animation type to the vortex. Let's change the gravity to zero also. And it will make it round. Now we are going to animate it according to this path. Make sure you are at the first frame, select this mask path and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Open effect, then CC particle system. Now open this producer tab, and select the position. Press Ctrl plus V, to paste the mask path on it. Now, if you play this, you can actually see, it is moving as our path was created. But you cannot adjust the position again after pasting it. Because it has converted the path into the keyframes, that's why our particles are moving. Now select all these keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open Graph Editor and change the curve to something like this. I am using this graph shape, so that my animation stop quickly, as compared to the starting. Let's hide this mask path, and adjust few more settings. Open Particles, and change Particle Type to the Faded Sphere. Change Death Size to 0, to create a tail of it. Change Size Variation to 100% and opacity map to constant. Also, increase the max opacity to 100%. Now I am going to change the particle colors. Click on any of this, and change the color you want. I am using a blue color, to match with my logo color. Change the birth color to the same blue as well. Perfect. Here is our animation until now. Let's move to the second step. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the simple choker. Double click on it to apply onto the layer. Now, increase the choke mat value to something 40. And then you will get the same result. If you play this, you can actually see it is a single line now. There are no particles inside it. And also, it has a flat look. 
you can control the length of this line, by increasing the longevity. As well as, you can change the few more settings to make it more attractive. Our first animation is complete, now let's disappear this line. I am using this point where the line will disappear. To do this, add a keyframe on the birth rate. Go to around 10 frames forward, and change the birth rate value to 0. Now the line will disappear, but now we need the timing to be matched. Select both keyframes, and drag them to the left, so they will be inside these animation keyframes. Perfect, this is what we need. RAM preview this, and see if you are happy with it. This looks good to me. Let's make another copy of it to make some extra details. Select your layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. I am dragging the bottom layer to the right, so that they have different animation timing. Perfect. Let's change the color of this line. I am using a white color, but you are free to choose your own logo colors. Cool. Let's increase the choke mat value to around 70, so the line will be thinner than the blue one. If you play this, you will get this nice looking line, with a white tail attached to it. Let's replicate these both layers, to make our scene more dynamic. Select both layers, and press, Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Right click on it, and then, go to the transform, and select, flip horizontal. It will rotate your layers horizontally. This looks nice, but I don't like it. They are just looking mirror image of each other. So again right click on these layers, go to the transform, and this time, select flip vertical. It looks more dynamic now. Let's change a few settings of them, to make them look different from each other. I am going to work with the bottom layer. Select your layer, I am changing choker to 75 this time. And also, increasing velocity to 0.2. Let's decrease the inherit velocity to negative 45. This is the minimal change, but that looks different now. Let's play this animation. But before, press N to trim out the playback area, so that you check the main part only. Ramp preview this, and now we have these nice looking lines. Let's move to the next step. Now we are creating splash ring, when this two line collides with each other. I am using this time location to make the ring. Make sure to unselect your layer, and then go to the shape tool. Here we are going to use this ellipse tool. Please note, my fill is set to none for this shape. And my stroke is set to a solid color. I am using a white color for the ring, but you are free to choose any one. Also, I am using my stroke size to 50 pixels. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and start dragging your mouse to create a perfect round stroke circle. Now press V to select the move tool, and align it to the center. Perfect. Now we are going to animate this ring. But before, let's rename it to burst. Please excuse the spelling. Open this ellipse option, and then this stroke one. Here you will see this stroke width option. We are going to animate it. Go to the perfect frame to add this. Then scroll to the transform, and open it. Change scale value to zero. And then add a keyframe on it. Go to around 15 frames forward, and then change the scale value to 100%. Scroll back to the stroke width, and then, add a keyframe on it. Go to around 15 frames forward, and then change the value to zero. If you play it, you can see the burst animation. But it is not good enough. Press U, to open keyframes only, 
and align these stroke width keyframes to the left, so it will match with the scaled timing. It looks good. Now select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them, so the burst will fade out smoothly. Ramp preview it, and check the timing. In my case, the burst animation is a bit faster. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, and drag your selected frames to the left, you can actually make it slower, without placing keyframes individually. It looks much better to me. Now, go to the effects and presets, and search for, rough and edges effects. Apply this effect on the burst layer, and adjust few settings. Change the border to 30. And change edge sharpness to 10. If you play this animation, you can see, it is reacting just like a smoke. Perfect. Let's make another copy of it. Select your layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Let's call it Burst Blue. I am going to drag this file to the left, so it will follow the first burst animation. Also, change its color to the same blue color of the line. I am following the same colors, as my logo have. Cool. Let's place this layer below the burst layer, and adjust the timing according to your need. I want my white burst to stay a bit longer than the blue one. So, select the burst layer, and press U, to open keyframes. Select these both end keyframes, and drag them to the right, to make the burst animation slower. Cool. Play this. And now, your animation will look like this. Please note, you are free to use your own paths to animate it. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Our animation is complete, here we are moving to the next step. Let's add our logo. You are free to add your text also. Process is the same for both. Place your logo on the top of all layers and then pre-compose it. Rename it as logo, and make sure to check there, move all attributes into the new composition. Right now my logo is too big, let's scale it down a little. Perfect, I want my logo to be this size. Now, let's start animating our logo, at the time of these bursts start. So let's do this. Go to the frame where your burst starts appearing. Go to the effects and presets, and search for, zoom wobbling preset. Add this preset to the logo layer, and your logo will start animating right away. Cool. Let's adjust the animation timing to make it better. Press U, to open keyframes. Select, any keyframe and open the graph editor. Change the curve to something like this, and then drag it to the right, to make it slower. Switch back to your timeline, and your animation is complete. Add any background of your choice. And you are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.